Microsoft certification will expire after one year if you don't renew it. The good news is the renewal is pretty simple. You have six months to prepare for it. It's completely free and you can take it online. And the best thing about it, even if you fail, you can try again in the next 24 hours. But how do you prepare for this assessment? In today's video, I will show you. First of all, let's check if my certifications are even up for a renewal. To do so, you will have to navigate to Microsoft Learn page on this address. I will provide you with the link in the description. And over here, you can click on your profile icon right here and select profile. This will move you to a page where you can select your certifications. So it's under credentials. And if I select this, you will have to move to certification. All right. So in my case, I have two certifications, which I can take for an assessment. First is Microsoft Azure Associate, and the second one is Azure Solution Architect Expert. It also tells you when it expires, when you earned it, and when you successfully pass the assessment, it will also tell you when your certification will expire. Okay, but before I click on the renew button, let's check if there is any changes to the certification itself. So I will right click on this and open it a new tab. And this will move me to the certification panel. You have the information which skills are measured. And over here, I can tell since I already took the Microsoft learning path before that something new was added to this. Do you see this? I have 83% completed. Here is 74. Over here is again 83. So some modules were updated. If I click on this, you can see that there are a bunch of modules. And for example, this one, Interactive Love Simulation with Azure PowerShell was added to this module. Or if I select Resource Manager, okay, this one, I have everything completed. But here, for example, is Consider by System Template. So I assume in the past, the examination didn't really talk much about BICEP. The very important information that you need to realize is that the assessment is not about all the stuff related to the certification. They test you on the latest changes. So you don't have to really learn everything from scratch. You just need to revisit the new stuff that was added to it. And the way I do this, I just go through the modules, revisit them and make notes. Okay, let's go back actually to the profile and if you select the renew button it will move you to a new page and over here you have skill measured in a renewal assessment so those are most likely the changes that were added to the new certification so we have host a web application with azure app service build a containerized web application with docker secure your azure storage account and many others also, the naming was changed from Microsoft uh, Azure, <laughs> from Azure Active Directory to Microsoft Enter ID. So uh, those will be also the changes inside the certification. All right, here are more important information. It takes 45 minutes and I believe there is 26 questions. At least in my last assessment, I had 26 questions. So I would strongly advise you to just go through the newest modules, learn everything from those and write notes. There are many different tools that you can use to write your notes. For many years, I have used OneNote, but recently I have changed it up to Notion and I am very happy with this. This is how I structure my notes. I go through the study material and I structure it into the different section the way is it it is on the exam. So I have manage identities and governance in Azure, implement and manage storage in Azure. And if I click on this, it will redirect me to the section about this specific topic. 
And if I learn something new, you can, in Notion at least, you can search for it. So if I search for ARM, I have ARM templates and in here I could, for example, add a section about bicep and have it and keep it structured. So that's pretty much it. I don't use anything else really. Microsoft Learn is always up to date. And since the assessment tells you on the latest stuff, I think it's a great resource. Just keep in mind, you have six months to prepare for this assessment. But realistically, I think you can do it in two or four days. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions about Azure certifications, please leave a comment below.